Welcome back everyone. Some of the most beautiful and intriguing artwork can be found right here in Savannah for art lovers and really anyone wishing to get a glimpse of a new exhibit. The Telfair Museum is the place where you will find it. So I have a special guest joining us here for First News at Four to tell us all about this exhibit. And she's a very familiar face, familiar voice as well. Kimberly Michelle Dobson, better known as K. Michelle. She's the midday diva, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you in the house. Hey, thanks so much for having me. Of course, a, quite a personality in radio here at Magic 103.9. And I just want to say to you, when I saw that post on Facebook last week, I was like, please come, please come to First News at Four. Yeah, so I'm so happy to have you with us. Telfair Museum's Friends of African American Art was founded by a Dr. Walter O. Evans and his wife, Alinda. And right now, this incredible work of art is on display by none other than a local artist, and many, many artists, and it can be seen at the Telfair Museum right now. So first of all, I want you to share with us the mission of FAAA. FAAA, Friends of African American Artists, um, their mission is to bring awareness to African American art. You know, uh, Dr. Uh, Evans, he had a set of twins. When they were young, he used to take them to the museum and they, there was no African American rep representation in the museum, so he decided to start FAAA. And so now it gives, uh, you know, artists a chance to show their work mm -hmm. in the Tail Fair Museum. Plus there are other uh, places that we show our artwork in Savannah, like at Savannah State as well. So it gives you an opportunity to show your work. Yeah, and we're seeing some of that artwork right now, Kate, Michelle. Uh, tell us a little bit about the inspiring piece that you have on display. Yeah, well, my piece is called Cataclysmic Ocean. And it's really um, a multi-dimensional piece of art. Um, it's done with paint, acrylic paint, and I've done spray paint, and I've done some, uh, what else did I put on there? Oh, um, some uh, foil. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty interesting. I like it, because it's kind of different from what I've been doing. Well, as we were watching the video a few minutes ago, or a few seconds ago, <laughs> in fact, I was thinking about this artwork and how these pieces really can make your walls talk. Yes, they do. You know, art uh, is, is everywhere that you look. But, you know, it brings me great joy to be able to make something out of just whatever comes to my head. And sometimes I don't even know what it's going to look like or, you know, how I'm going to do it. But it's just that creativity is such a, um, you know, it's just, allows you to be creative and just flow naturally mm -hmm. from you, you know? Yeah, so we hear your voice every day on the radio. What inspired you to become an artist, to put your talents, your craft to canvas? Well, I've always been an artist since I was really young. But really, since the pandemic, when, you know, everybody was stuck at home, that gave me a chance to really, really work on my art. And it was a good time for me. So I did a lot of pieces and then, I found out about FAAA, joined that, and so I've just been doing a lot of art ever since. What do you hope people will take away from the exhibit at the Telfair right now? Well, you know what? People can see that there are just so many different people in the world, and everybody's art is so different. And if, you know, you want to be an artist, you can be one too. I was talking to someone else, and they were saying that, oh, I'm not an artist at all. I'm like, yes, you are. Everybody has art within them. Small Works, right? Yes, Small Works Exhibition. It's at the Telfair Museum, and it will be there till November 26th. So we're looking for new members, whether you're a painter or if you do metal work or if you are a sculptor, you should join FAAA. So just go to Telfair museum.org. All right, we're sharing that information with you on the screen right now, and you spoke so well as we posted this on for our viewers. Oh, good. So okay. Thank, thank you so much, uh, <laughs> Kay Michelle. And thank you. I'm so looking forward to taking a visit to Telfair Museum and also seeing this incredible work that so many phenomenal artists. Yes, have you got to check there. it out. There's over 40 artists on display at the Telfair Museum, and they're extraordinary. All right, we still have time, everybody. Don't forget, November 26th, that's how long you have. So, really, a little over a month. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we do this every year, okay? 
So every year we're doing an exhibit at the Telfair Museum. Okay, this is super great. Yes, it All is. Right. Okay, Michelle, thank you so thank much. Thank you for All having right. me. Thank you. Give us a shout out now. Um, I'll give you a shout out on the radio. Okay. All right. <laughs> we love you, girl. Thank yeah, you. I love you too. <laughs> Edward, over to you. All right. Thanks, Tina.